In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to use WP Stagecoach to create a staging copy of your website. I've just uploaded the WP Stagecoach plugin to the plugins page on my site, so now I can click Activate. And now I can click WP Stagecoach in the sidebar, and it asks for my username and API key. You can find your username and API key on your account page on WPStagecoach.com. So I save my username and API key, and now I can go to WP Stagecoach. And all I have to do to create a staging site is click Ride the Stagecoach. So now it's going through all of the steps of creating a staging site. This is a, a small site on a fast server, so it creates the staging site pretty quickly. Sometimes this process can take a little while. And there we go. The staging site is done. So I can go see the staging site, and it looks just like my live site. I can go back to my live site and here is the FTP or SFTP login information if I want to go edit files on the site. And there's also a feedback form so that you can let us know if anything went wrong with creating your staging site. So now I'm going to go to my staging site and log in. And here I can make some changes. So for starters, let me change themes. I'll even add a new theme. So I can activate a new theme. I can create blog posts. And I can go look at my staging site and see it looks very different from my live site, so now let me go back to my live site. And I can click on Import Changes. If I click on Check for Changes, it'll go to the staging site and... It's looking for the changes and it's compiling a list of the changes. So now I can select the changes I want to import from the staging site. I can choose my file changes. These are things like installing new themes, updating plugins, updating WordPress, making changes to a theme. Or I can import data cha database changes. These are things like uh, saving plugin settings, creating new blog posts, or creating new pages. I'm going to go ahead and import all of my changes. It's always a good idea to back up your site before you import changes, just in case something goes wrong. So I click Import and it's going through all the steps of importing my changes. All right, so everything has been imported and now I can go check on my site and see how it looks. And there it is, my live site now has this new theme. And my latest blog post. So now that I'm happy with how that looks, I can clean up and delete the staging site. So this is deleting all the temporary files that WP Stagecoach created. It's deleting the staging site because I don't need it anymore. And if I wanted to, I could go create a new staging site. 
So that's how you use WP Stagecoach to create a staging copy of your website.